Hi guys. Um, taking or giving. If you give it away, it can't be taken. If it's taken away, it can't be given. There's a lot to this, what I'm saying, but I'm going to hit a few points and just kind of leave you to do the research a little bit um, because it'll be good for all. Of, it's good for all of us to search the Bible for the truth. Biggest one, one of the biggest ones, John 3, 16, everybody loves that scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus is the giver of life. To give our life, he said that his life he didn't give, he didn't that we couldn't take away his life, he was giving it away. I was trying to find that scripture, I didn't, couldn't find it. I will. There's many scriptures in there about him being giving, giving, and giving. He was a perfect example of giving his life, not taking. The enemy wants to take steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus wants to give us life and that much more abundantly. That's why abortion is a big issue because all it's about is about taking. There's other issues too. The disease, take a, take a, take a, take a, take a shot and you'll live. Comply and you can have this, do this, do that. You know, it's, it's take, 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 take. People are falling for it because of lack. Thinking they're gonna lack something. We don't lack anything, guys. Jesus wants to give us eternal life. He that comes unto me and thirsts, he's going to give us uh, that fountain of life. Abraham was a good example, even though he wasn't God or Jesus. He was a good example of a man that had a choice. But Lot. Following what God told him to do, let him choose. Oh, on the outside, man, it looked, his land looked deserted like a desert. The one side and the other side looked like the promised land. He could have hid behind that and not told Lot anything. He just took, took, took the one that would end it up. If you hang on to something, you're going to lose it. If you lose it, you're going to gain. Are you a giver or a taker? I recently had some issues with that. And I had to cut the ties with some people. Because all it was was take, take, take. It became a one-way street. And I'm like, I don't want to go down that one way, wrong, wrong way down that one-way street anymore. But I, that was in God's perfect will. But I wasn't doing it his way. But a while back, he had warned me. He said, tell my people to be aware of their surroundings because some people are going to come with the right motives and the right heart to them. Some people are going to come because they want something and want to try to take it. And some people are going to come because the enemy sent them to destroy God's plan. He can't. But if we let him, he can. So... We can't be taken if we give. But it's got to be from a clean heart, guys. We all bark about the million-dollar preachers, and I do too. I don't always say anything because some of it can't be said in public. But I won't. just won't do it. Because I have to pray about a lot of it. But there's a reason why they're successful some, somewhat, not just their tongue. People think God's a big ATM, and a lot of them, they're, they're just as much at fault. You give God a hundred bucks, you need a thousand. You give your light bill money, you watch a move. Man, I've heard it all, guys. Sat in a tent revival, and there's a hundred people out there with 500 bucks running to the altar. Okay. There's nothing wrong with, you know, professing the need, requesting help. There's 
nothing wrong with that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not naive, guys. You know, I'm about to go somewhere, and I gotta have gas in the car to get there, and I gotta have a car to get there. Okay, I get that. And you want a nice car. I get that. But are you taking or giving? It doesn't, we all, we wrap around money because it's become an idol in this country. But it, it's time too. Are you giving to God your best, your first fruits? Not talking about money. Getting up with us at five in the morning and praying and seeking his face and his will and his way. Are you giving of your time, of your heart. To study your word. Are you trying to take one scripture and beat somebody over the head with it and run with it and that's your mantle? Or several of them. Or even just saying the Bible. You know, using that word against people. Taking. Not giving. Sorry. No oh, hurts. Hurts me too. I had to step back from a couple of people that I was dealing with and say and spend a lot of time with God. And you know, it wasn't all them. I allowed it, but some of it was. You know, I came to the realization, man, my yard needs mowing. I need to clean up my yard, my grass, my heart. That story about the beam in your own eye and you're telling somebody else they got a moat in theirs. Or they got a moat and you got a beam. Sorry. Are you taking or giving? Plenty of scriptures. I want you to study on that, guys. Look it up because the message is going to be a lot more sound if it's if it's you that found it, sound doctrine can be found by you. Because it can have some meaning in your life. So what are you doing? Are we giving or are we taking? American way, honestly, I'm sorry to say this, the culture is to take. Take charge, take it up. A lot of pride, guys. Sad. I grew up in this. I grew up in this land too, guys. I'm. I love this country, but it has become an idol. I'm sorry to say. Way too many. You know. I mean, it's just, man. Just look at even one simple thing: the cell phone. Man, it's taking over people's lives technology. Everybody's all into TikTok. I'm sorry to tell you this. I said this from the beginning. TikTok is demonic. It's designed to take control. Mind control. Because the enemy wants your mind and he can't do anything but take it or try to. God wants, wants to give you a sound mind. Wants you to not be anxious for nothing. That's in 1 Peter. Be of good courage. He, he wants to give, 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 give. He gave his blood. Guys, he sacrificed his life. Guys, he gave till there was nothing left to give. And then with full authority, he took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Because he first gave. He was about his father's business. So what are we doing, guys, with what we've got? Are we giving or are we taking? Why do you do what you do? Love you guys. It's a good message. Plenty of them in there about the giving, giving his life, giving of his time, prayer. Unfortunately, the religion.
religious, not even just a religious, but the so-called church, but uh, morally, has twisted it to submission. Get you to serve. They don't want you to serve God. They want you to serve them. Sorry. Say. Their agenda and motives. Build a bigger stage. Lights, camera, action. Man, guys. There's a major convenience chain. And for some reason, that seems to be a magnet of a platform for me as I find homeless people there all the time. You can see it all over their face and their, their expression. Walk up to them, are you hungry? I know they're hungry. And I get a chance to minister to most of them. Some of them listen, I can tell, and some of them don't. But, and I don't go there all the time, but I mean, when I do, there's always somebody there, it seems like. So I was like, okay, Lord. But he wants you to give in secret in some respects because we've, it's gotten out of hand. Everybody wants a cell phone and a show what they did for the Lord, or what God did for them. Man, guys, your reward is laid up in heaven. It should be treasures laid up in heaven, not a selfie snapped of you. No, I saw and broke my heart, but friend of mine and on a stage 20 feet in the air and all kinds of, you know, you know there's a hundred thousand people that gave their life to the Lord and, you know, it's all about the numbers, guys. Really? What are you doing that nobody sees but you and God and Jesus, the Holy Ghost and His Word? That's why I don't really like these platforms, this technology platform, but I'm doing it because the Lord told me to. Following what he told me to do, and I pray a lot to try to stay in his will. And, and do I err sometimes? Yes, of course, but try really, really, really hard not to. But how I try is I bring it to him in prayer. I give my time. And even when he tells me things, I still not question him. I just, man, God, I want to make this, make sure this is right, holy and acceptable. So are you giving people the true gospel? Or are you taking the Bible and beating them on the head with it? Try to beat them into submission or just think your way or see how you see it. I'm not talking about the wishy-washy stuff of letting people just have any old kind of opinion either. That's not what I'm saying. It's got to be true and correct. But it's got to be birthed in prayer, guys. You can tell where it's coming from, if you truly got the spirit of discernment. And I do very strongly. I missed it on a couple people, and I just wasn't really paying any attention to, the, to all the signs. Now it's like, man, I'm kind of reeling from some of it. God, how did I let this, this go on? But when I got to the bottom of it, I realized some of it was going on to me. I had to change, and whatever happens with them is them. Pray for them, but I've got to move on. So, but what are we giving, guys? Are we giving our best, our first fruits? Cain and Abel, good example. What they give? Look at that. You know the story, okay? God sees our heart. Why are you giving? Are you giving it for a return on your investment? Uh, this isn't, you know, the, the idolized stock market, the idolized almighty dollar. This is not this is not a game, guys. Love you. God loves you. But he wants you to give it your best. So <laughs> study up on it. Even look up the word give. Even ties have gotten twisted up, guys. No, don't jump on that bandwagon. He's telling the preacher, Tony, not to give ties and offering. 
not what I'm saying. But if you really read it, what does it say? That there'd be meat in my house. It's, it's to be, what are they doing with it? That's kind of the key. Make sure it's on good ground, guys. Really good ground, solid ground. But that doesn't excuse you to not give. So I get some of the justification from some because they're they're they're, they're like apprehensive about how it's gonna you know how they're gonna make it, and the enemy uses that for both sides. Just give out of a pure heart. Start with that, but make sure it's birthed in prayer. A word to give. And not just your money, but your time, your energy. Is it supposed to be to give to someone else, or is it to give to your family, or is it to give to your parents, or to your loved ones, or your wife, or your kids? We're all pulled a lot. And I will say this, guys. Okay, this is not going to sit well. I'm sorry, but... 501c business maybe the church should be giving their taxes oh I know it's not going to sit real well because what we're seeing right now is just flat out abuse so it's like no even if it was a no I mean even if it was but Jesus was pretty adamant he said render to Caesar what Caesar's Ah, oh, what's God's? Maybe that's why we're having so many issues in the church. Because we're idolizing their money. Could that be? Why are you wanting people to give? What's your motive? What's behind it? Love you guys. Um, if you give it, it can't be taken. If you take it, it can't be given. Meaning, if you give it away, it's got God's stamp of approval on it. But if it's taken away, you don't have anything to give. Because either you let somebody take it away, or you, gave, you gave it away for the wrong reasons, or you know, there's something behind it, something nefarious, and it's not nefarious. Sometimes it's demonic. A lot of times it's nefarious and demonic. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Um, see you.